me got to see what you see you are doing a great work in me i've decided i can stand still no you have given me purpose all my all my heart is yours to serve you. serve you you have given me a job to do i want to love the world just like you yeah you have given me purpose oh my all my heart is yours So they really come to you? Yeah. yeah, you just make an appointment, give them your address, and it's a mobile service. They show up and they'll cut your hair or if you, or do your nails or whatever you want. Huh. Weird. No, it's cool. They'll even do like aromatherapy or they have this thing called a massage bath in, in their bath and spa package. I'm sorry, did you say bath? Yeah, that was weird. I, I didn't want anything to do with that, so I didn't get that package. But they did offer fancy pom-poms. Woo! So I said, yeah, I'll take that. You said yes to fancy pom-poms? Well, yeah, who wouldn't want a personalized cheerleader cheering you on while mm. you're getting your hair cut? Yeah, yeah. yeah I said, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> what else do they do? Uh, de-matting <laughs> and, and de-shedding. I don't, I don't think I need any of that, do you? <laughs> you realize these are dog groomers, right? <laughs> <laughs> dog groomers. <laughs> Compost. No, that would make the cage-free drying make more sense. Top dog groomers, at your service. You didn't realize from the name? I, I thought it was a top dog. I thought it was like really, a, I was a cool guy. I was like, hey dog, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> no! Hi everyone, I'm Brandon. Yes! <laughs> and this is John, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. Right? Yes, hi, welcome. <laughs> so, you got some good news? Good, good. Great news, Brandon, great! Great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna share? No. Oh, uh, share the news. Yeah, I thought you meant share what I was getting. But that, no, uh, my great aunt is moving and she's downsizing. Oh, is she giving you some really great stuff like a, an espresso machine or a recliner? Even better. Oh, a mid-century modern TV console complete with a full collection of board games? No, but close. Tell me. Her collection of miniature cat figurines. Oh, what? 
Oh, I bet that's them being delivered right now. Come on in! Hey. Oh, hey, Cassie! <laughs> Come on in. Everybody, this is my cousin, Cassie. What's up? Hey, what brings you on the show today, Cassie? Well, I have some news. Oh, I have news, too. Great Aunt Hilda? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what'd you get? I bet you mine is way better. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> She's giving me her collection of cat figurines. What? I told you mine was better. Wait, no, 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 that's not it, because she is giving me her collection of cat figurines. <laughs> Wait, seriously? What are we gonna do? There's only one way to solve this. No, we can't play rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Uh, just so I understand, this is all over cat figurines. Duh. Duh. Can you sell them for a lot of money or something? Why would we do that? Uh, they're cat figurines, Brandon. They're incredibly rare. Yeah, I, 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 adorable. Colorful, lifelike. They're cats and they're mine and I want them and they're mine. No, they're mine. <sighs> okay, why don't you just share them? <sighs> All right, I was just trying to help. You know, Cassie, I deserve these cats. What? Yeah, I know, because I work hard. I have a show. And I have other figurines that could be the cat's friends. Oh, huh? I love cats. You don't even like cats that much. That is true. Brandon! You know, listen, I, I did not want to have to do this. But you leave me no choice. <gasps> what is that? Aunt Hilda gave it to me a year ago. And when I visited, she said, and I quote, one day, sweetie, I'll give you the entire set. Well, then she lied because she told me that all of these figurines were mine! What? No, it's mine! Mine, mine. It's, it's, mine. Mine. it's, mine. it's just... Mine. It's Bible story time! Hey, everybody! Hey! Sorry about your dilemma, John and Cassie. Thanks. Thanks. I think our story today may help you out. It says in the Bible which one of us gets the figurines? Um, no. In today's story, Jesus was talking to a big crowd of people. People often gathered around him, wanting to learn from him. On this particular day, one man in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family property with me. Jesus replied to him, Friend, who made me a judge or umpire between you? Then Jesus said to the crowd, Watch out! Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. But Jesus didn't stop there. One of his favorite ways to teach people was by telling them stories. So he told them a story of a rich man whose land had just produced a very large crop. Ah, oh, it's good to be rich. Wow, my land has produced so many crops this year. What am I gonna do? I don't have enough space to store them all. Are you looking for a place to store all of your crops? Yeah. Then follow me. Real quick, that sounds like Looney Larry. He pops in from time to time. Jesus definitely never mentioned anything about Looney Larry or about infomercials. But maybe he'll help us out with our story today. Looney Larry here, and I've got just the thing for you. Say goodbye to small barns with just enough space and reasonable storing options. Say hello to Looney Larry's line of big barns. Oh, boo hoo hoo. My small barn is the worst. It's old and boring. If I keep this barn, I have to share my crops with all the other people instead of having room to store them all for myself because they're mine. It's time to tear down that small barn and buy bigger barns. We've got you covered with choices of all colors, shapes, and of course, sizes. Big, bigger, and extra super big. Don't hesitate, you need this. Would, would, I? would I? Wow, that's a great idea. Just tear this small barn down and build something bigger. I'll have plenty of grain stored away for years and I'll be able to take life easy. Score! 
In Jesus' story, the rich man decided to tear down the barns he had and build bigger ones so that he could store his crops and live life easy. And then... But wait, there's more! I don't think... Why stop at a barn? We've got mansions, warehouses, and even mid-16th century castles! You can fit everything in here! And I mean everything! Would I love... I've got some building to do. I need to buy it all. And there's even more. Really? What else? Actually, that's enough. Oh. oh, man! After he built the bigger barns, God told the rich man that he was foolish. God said, tonight I will take your life away from you. Then, who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Wait, what? Huh? After his story, Jesus told the crowd, that is how it will be for whoever stores things away for themselves, but is not rich in the sight of God. Jesus taught the people that it is more important to be rich in God's eyes than to have a lot of stuff for yourself. What do you think? Does that help with your cat problem? Uh, as much as I want the whole collection to myself, yes, I have to admit that is helpful. That's fair. It's human nature to want things for yourself. But Jesus taught us how to be generous and how to love God and others with the things we have. Sharing what we have is one of our responsibilities as Jesus followers. That's amazing. Mm. Definitely. So do you want to share the figurine collection? And you take half, I take half? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? I want to give some to Grandma because she really <gasps> loves cats. What do you think? You are right. <laughs> she loves them. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like you two have the hang of it. I'll see you later. Thanks. See ya. I'm, I'm really relieved both of you figured that out. Mm. Me too. Oh, I need to clean off my bookshelf so I can make space for these little kitties. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. Hey, hey, before you go, can you help me out with something? Of course. Okay, great. Reveal the question. What do you have that you can share? Oh, good question. Yeah, yeah, it could be, uh, you know, it could be money if you've got any saved up. Or it could be stuff like a good book mm -hmm. or a sweater or cat figurines. Oh. <laughs> you can also share your time uh, by volunteering to help someone mm. or, or share your talents with people. Everyone has different strengths. You could be great at something someone else could really use help in. Yeah, and I have to say from personal experience within the last two minutes, that sharing definitely feels better than trying to keep it all to yourself. Totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't take our word for it. It's your turn. I'm Brandon. I'm Cassie. And I'm John, and this was the so-and-so show, and he's a kitty. He's <laughs> a cute little kitty. Yeah, little little scrubby, little purr, little ears. Oh, it's a kitty. <laughs> Wait, there's more. What am I doing? <laughs> Did you know that the word homeowner has meow in the middle? Home meowner? <laughs> <laughs> Would I lie? Top dog. No. Arf. No, no dogs here. <laughs> no! I'm not here! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that hurts the back. <laughs>